Wireless phones have become an integral part of our daily lives. Most can't imagine spending a day or even a few hours without one. These phones have become increasingly smarter over the years, adding new features and functions continuously. The capabilities of these devices are rapidly becoming limitless. This video will focus on the newer abilities of these phones and the pros and cons associated with them, while also briefly describing the history behind them. The first generation of wireless phones were voice-only devices. Uh, they used an analog network, so static was apparent whenever you made a call. They had limited coverage due to the size of networks at that time, few features, and were generally large in size. Key examples would be a bag phone and a Nokia 2100. The second generation of wireless phones, TDMA and CDMA, uh, were both digital technologies, so this eliminated a lot of the static that was seen with the first generation of cell phones. Interestingly enough, data was also added to these phones, so you could access the internet from your device. Text messaging, email, and web access appeared during this time. Also, the federal government required that enhanced 911 uh, GPS chip embedded in each phone be required, uh, so 911 operators can locate you if you happen to call. And examples of the more important phones of this time would be the original BlackBerry and the Palm Trio. The third generation of wireless phone technology, widely marketed as 3G, brought with it SIM cards, the ability to use voice and data at the same time, and also we started to see the advent of location-based services. Applications started to appear on smartphones, and they began to get massively popular. Key examples of this would be the iPhone and Android. The fourth generation of wireless technology brings with it even faster internet speeds to smartphones. These faster data speeds allow streaming video and video calling technologies to emerge. The hardware in phones is rapidly approaching a true concept of mobile computing with processor speeds exceeding 1 GHz and using multiple cores. These phones continue to permeate our daily lives with location-based services such as Foursquare, augmented reality applications like Google Goggles, and the ability to control other network devices such as Viper Smart Start. QR codes designed to be read by phones have also made their way onto everything from magazines and TV advertisements to trash cans on campus. Tablet devices also have emerged, such as the iPad and Galaxy Tab, allowing users easy access to more multimedia content on the go. It's very easy to see wireless technology has come a long way since the days of the bag phone. It's hard to believe a device once used to make barely audible phone calls without a cord can now start your car and also pay for your Starbucks without you having to get your wallet. Text messaging and wider coverage areas have connected millions of people to each other in ways we haven't before imagined. Internet access on these phones allows people to post things to their Facebook, Twitter, blogs, etc. the instant something happens without the need of a traditional computer. We will only continue to advance, and some future technologies that we may see would include more artificial intelligence-based apps, increased processing power, and data speeds for these phones.